Hello lovely people, welcome back to Prison Stress Kitchen once again. Guys, today we are making anwamo or oil rice with some spaghetti. So that's what I'm making today. It's very simple. So these are the ingredients I'm going to use for the simple anwamo. I have my onion, salt to taste, oil, rice, and spaghetti. I'm using the long ones and I've broken them into pieces already. I'll be adding mixed vegetables. It's frozen, so I'm going to add it later on. So I have my saucepan, so I'll add my oil to it. And then I will just add my onion to the oil. So make sure you fry for about five minutes on high heat. And then after it's turning brown or it has turned brown, you just go ahead and add your spaghetti to it. Just mix it very well with the oil because we want the spaghetti to turn brown. Now, as you can see, it's turning golden brown, but I want it to be more brown to look it. I want it to look like um, wheat spaghetti. That's what I want the color to be. So I, I'm going to let it fry more before I add the rice to it. So as you can see, it's actually turning very brown. Don't worry about the onion because the onion it's going to give you another color to the rice it's going to make it look like you've added a little bit of um soy sauce to it yeah so i've added the rice to it i added a little bit of water to it and my one teaspoonful of salt then you give it a stir after i stirred i tasted the salt wasn't enough and the water wasn't enough so i added a little bit more of the water and also added some of the salt to it as well so after giving it a good stir you, you just cover and let it boil for about 10 minutes then you come back again and you give it a stir yes make sure you stir it periodically don't leave it you don't want your rice to burn okay so just give it a good stir as i'm doing I give it a good stir and also clean the tip of the saucepan and you cover again and then let it sit for about five minutes then you come back and check it again now I'm giving it a good stir again make sure you stir to mix it very well let the bottom come up and the up one goes down like that you see how it's looking it's looking very beautiful so at this point I will just go ahead and add my mixed vegetables to it now I tried some of it yeah I tried some of it and I tasted it was almost done so I've added my mixed vegetables to it as well then you mix so after mixing then you just cover and leave it on low heat now i'm gonna serve the rice with fried fish so as i was doing the rice the fish was in water i was defrosting it so i'm now cleaning the fish make sure you clean if you are if you're gonna serve yours with um fried fish then make sure you clean your fish very well so that's what I'm doing right now so guys you know back home in Ghana I remember when we were kids when we go to school and we come back, I used to go to the afternoon shift. So when you come back in the evening, then you ask your mom, Mama, why are you doing this? 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 Oh, those who are from Ghana, they know what I'm talking about. And you see this happiness. Oh my goodness. When you are and one morning tea, when you are just ah, Ghana, so they know, yeah, 
mostly no more tie the um Kobe a ye. So on se Kobe ni fiano a gian wa munu and then yes ye ya wan wa ye polisheno. Yema la memu no mum polisheno. I da saw the beef, salted beef. Ebe ye ana se wa di Kobe. So guys, you know, I miss childhood. Ah. It was very nice during that time. So guys, as you are cleaning your fish, make sure you clean your place, your kitchen, because you know fish has strong smell and you don't want your sink and your kitchen to be smelling, right? So make sure you clean your sink very nice. Now I'm going to clean it or wash it for the second time. So I'm going to add some water to the bowl and added some salt to it as well and then after i'm done cleaning i'll just put in the salted water and then after that it will be ready for frying yes in chinnam this fish when you go to the store it's called jack mackerel that's how they call it but i don't really know the actual name back home in ghana those who used to go to the market we call it pala that's pala that's how they used to call it pala so i don't know if you know the english name for pala the, the one i know is jack mackerel not the 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 mackerel that we always use but this this is another type of mackerel they call it jack mackerel but in ghana we call it pala as i said earlier on so i'm just cleaning my kitchen have to make sure you clean the place nicely because the fish has strong smell and we don't want it that way yeah Yeah, so I grabbed some tissue and I place it in the in the pan or in the bowl so you know the, the fish is looking very nice now. Yeah. Now I'm gonna set that aside and continue to wash my bowl and clean the kitchen nicely, the sink nicely. So make sure you do the same. Because the fish has a strong smell and we don't want your kitchen to be smelling. Yep. So now I have my oil. I place a little bit of all-purpose flour before adding the fish to it, as you can see. So I just let it fry for about five minutes. Make sure you turn them so that it doesn't, the other side doesn't burn. So you turn them all the time. Now the first section is ready so I just take them out and add a little bit of all purpose again and put the second section of the fish to the oil and I'm gonna let that also fry for about five minutes and it's ready yes so our rice and fish are well done 
which I'm going to serve very, very, very soon. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so. Okay, guys, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get all the updates from Prison Stress Kitchen. Thank you all once again. And until then, we will meet another time. And please stay away from trouble.